and ahoy gamers and welcome back to Titan Quest, the anniversary edition as so we're playing through the game as a hardcore. As we can see here we're playing as a runesmith which is a mix of the rune mastery skill set which is in one of the expansions, well the unofficial expansions, and the defense mastery. We are level eight, uh, 16 at the moment, we've got obviously zero deaths just here. We're making our way through the first part of the game. We're still in the first act. We, last episode we got to outskirts of Athens, where we are here. We're the Athenian battleground. And we speak, spoke to Leonidas here. He's essentially secured the outside of Athens. We need to head inside and see because apparently there's some monsters inside the city. We're going to make our way into inside the city and see what's going on here. Storyteller here. I sing now of a I'm not going to. I'm not going to listen to all of those bits of random bits of lore. I just want to focus on the story. Looks like there are mobs up here. Uh, this is fine. So hopefully today's episode we can make our way most of the way through Athens. Maybe even make our way to the next story quest, the uh, next part of the act. We'll clear each of these side areas. We do currently have a side quest active that requires us to go to some swamps to find some Spartans that have gone missing. I'll show you just on here. That quest is just there. Spartans lost. We need to go to some swamps and find some lost Spartans, which, which I'm sure will be fine. We just need to find out where the swamps are. Because we haven't yet found any swamps near Athens just yet. Because that quest came from. Ooh, poison does a lot of damage. That quest came from. Um, where was it? This location down here. I mean, I'm presuming this is the swamp here. We haven't found an entrance into the swamp. So we might find one as we uh, venture through. Do you ideally want to find a shop anyway? There's a mystic here. Mystic allows you to respec. We don't really need to spec at the moment. Just a random child there. Just a very random child. Okay. God, that child's face is like a full-grown adult. It's got a body of a body of a child, but it's got a face of an adult. Terrifying. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> I can't keep getting sidetracked. I'm just really just looking around to see if there's any side quests anyway. I think side quests actually appear on your mini map anyway. It looks like that may leave into uh, go go further out of town. Fighting going on there. There is a quest there. There's also some shops here and another shop there. Hail warrior. We're going to sell I our stuff. So we want to use this soul card. But we need 110 dexterity. We found it last episode. So we're going to try and get to that as soon as possible. Ooh, that's quite nice. I wouldn't mind actually using a respec. Uh, but at the moment we don't really need it because I've got two one point into concussive blow there. I don't really want to put points into concussive blow because we're going to switch from using maces and axes to using a sword. We will see. Okay, uh, panicked man, what do you have for us? I beg of you, please help. Our leader is besieged by monsters in the catacombs under the Acropolis. If he dies, then the rest of the world may suffer the same fate. Please. Go beneath the Parthenon. Save him quickly. Okay, so that's the part of the main quest. We need to stop the monsters in the catacombs, find the entrance to the catacombs. We have to find the entrance before we can stop the enemies inside them, which makes sense because we can't take out any enemies unless we know where to go. Um, so we're just going to make our way up here. Um, the Pamphylon, or Pam... I can't pronounce that word. Uh, Pamphion or Parthenon. Parthenon is normally the highest point it's like a temple, or a type of temple. That, look at that vermin king there, he's a big boy. Let's see if we can take him out very quickly. Okay, he's, he was a big boy, he's now a very dead boy. So we may have to go and find the swamp at some point. We probably might not do it this episode. If we come across it, we'll do, we'll do that Spartan quest. I'm not going out of my way to find the swamp. Okay, this is Acropolis. Gorgon, so two episodes ago we fought against Medusa. Uh, Gorgons, quite nice to see them again. I think they actually give us relatively good experience. Well, they did back in the when we first started fighting them. We're in the Acropolis here, so let's open the mini map. Okay. So it looks like this might be the only way we can go for the time being. And so far, we have had some close calls with this hardcore, but so far it's actually been quite quite enjoyable. I haven't really had that many issues so far. Okay, we can't go across there. I was thinking we can go across the grass, but there's a little uh, step there. And obviously the hero's worst nightmare is a step, so you can't go up those. 
do want to search everywhere though, just in case we miss anything. Uh, either it being a missing quest or even just some loot. I, don't, I kind of want to get all the loot I can. There's a lot of loot in the game. There's this set item that I've got here. The obsidian set, which I kind of want the rest of it. But I think I'm very quickly out leveling it. So this is, I think this is for like level, yeah, it's for level 13s. So I'm three levels above. I haven't found a helmet to replace it with. So that's why I'm still using it. But I'm sure it won't take long to find a good helmet to replace it. Okay, they're all down. Not dropping very good items. So I have got a loot filter on in the moment. So when you're playing this game, if you just press X, you put on a loot filter that gets rid of all standard items and leaves rares. So it's just the yellow items. Looks like that's where we need to go. Order of the Prometheus into that catacombs there. To the catacomb. Oh. Parthenon. Okay, go straight down. Probably a little bit of lag there. Athens catacombs. We birth shrine just in case we die, but if we die, we'll be starting this over. I said it before in a few other episodes. If we do die on this character, uh, we will start from the beginning. But I won't show, I'd only show like important things that I've done on the character, like get to level 10. Because um, I'll definitely try a completely different character, whether it be a ranged character or be a mage of some sort. I don't know what I'd go for just yet. Uh, so if a character does die, I'll release what, however long I got through that video, I'd release it. And the next video would be us just playing catch up. And we'll do that until we essentially finish the game. Uh, finish the game, the original game, which is, I think it's Greece um, and China. I think it's the original game. There's also, there may be another location as well. Uh, but the ex unofficial expansion is a few other places. We want to try and do it all before we, uh, we our character perishes. There's a few other difficulties as well that you can play on the game. But just like Diablo 2, once you complete the game, you unlock another difficulty level above it. And this also has three difficulties. So obviously we'll get make our way through. Yeah, that was interesting. We've got some spectral darts. We'll read those what that is in a second. I think I've seen these before. Skeletal darts. They're just phone items, okay. But that's a very that is not Is it my eyes? That's That's a weird colour. It's like a greeny, it's not, it's not a green colour, because this is what green looks like. It's not a yellow colour, it's like a, a mix between the green and yellow. It's like they've forgotten what colour pa palette to use. And it's I don't think it's my eyes. It definitely looks slightly slightly off. But hey, uh, it looks cool. Although we're not using any foreign items, so that's fine. Bonk all those archers down. Go clear the room just there to the left. And anything in here, nothing in here. It's more skeletons. I think we've almost got four inventory, haven't we? Oh no, okay, we've got a bit more, a bit more wiggle room. The enemies are starting to do a fair bit of damage, so I do want to increase my health or even increase my defense. I think probably health would be the main one. Well, I have been putting a lot of points into HP. Really, I just need to just level up. I just need to be better. Or find a way to increase my health regen, my natural health regen without getting into a fight. Or a heal. A heal would be nice as well. I can get a heal. Uh, when I, I think I'm very close to this heal here. So I need one more point into defense. I'll be able to get rally, which will give me 250, uh, 240 HP. So that will give me a, a fifth of my health. No, not even a fifth. It'll give me a like an eighth of my health. It's better than nothing, I guess. It will uh, definitely supplement my potion chugging. Though we haven't had to chug very many potions recently. we we'll open these sepulchres. Probably then head to town, sell our stuff, and we'll make our way down to the next floor. And I did forget to pick up the waypoint in the... In Athens. Uh, so I went back and picked that up as well. So we're now in the second... Oh, that's weird. Look at that text on where we just came from. So it's, uh, I don't think it should be doing that. <laughs> Never mind. It's a bit weird. A bit janky. But hey, it's an old game. What do you expect? Uh, so we're going to clear this way. It looks like on the minimap, mini map we have to go to the bottom left. Those exit down, or stairs down over there. Yeah, there is more stairs down. Oh, Geomancer. Always our priority, just because they look cool. And I think that's a champion if they've got a, a yellow name. 
And if you walk up, uh, money and potions, if you press A, you automatically pick them up. Really useful. And soldiers down, take out some of these liches. Nice. And Sepulchre again. Again, nothing good. So I do, I do want to level up before we make our way down to the next floor if possible. So you don't really have much control over it. I could, I could always go and farm, but I don't really want to. I wouldn't mind leveling up before you get onto the next um, floor. Assuming there's probably going to be some form of boss or some something down there. If it's whatever's attacking. Oh, it's got a circle of glory there. Whoever's attacking Athens, if it's down there, it's, it might be quite tough to fight. Okay, circle of glory, that's going to be a new helmet for us. Oh, Doggo here. And my Doggo was there. And attacked. We'll have a look at that circle in a second. Go bonk our way through. Grab these sepulchres. Nothing out of those. Fine, we've got a second here. So we get extra experience gain 4% that's not bad we need a lot of intelligence for that so we're not going to go for that now we have started getting these better armored items as well but we don't it's just too much of a deduction to everything else so we're not going to go for them at least for now there was a room in there that we could uh, clear out so we quickly run around and clear out those two rooms I cleared that room didn't get any loot for it and didn't get very much experience either but we are very close to leveling now so on the last pip it looks like there's a champion over there, Burning Revenant. Might be what we need. And looks like we are in the room that goes down to the next floor. So I did actually get hit by one of these poison clouds. We didn't die, but um, I cleared the entire room out. Full health. These poison clouds hit so hard. Took out over half my health. So I need to avoid any of those traps. That's for sure. Yeah, that gave me a lot of experience. So note to self. They are going to be quite good if we want to get some experience. Another one over there. Two more sepulchers over there. Down to the next floor. I'm guessing it's got to be some form of boss. Go. Anything good? No loot. That's fine. Okay, no, just uh, Catacombs level 3. That's fine. Uh, we can see the exit at the very top of the map, or whatever this is. Okay, it's a floor down. Looks like this is going even deeper. Loads of loot. In this. Yeah, there's the stairs. Loads of loot in this place. We may have to do another bank run, uh, which is fine by me. Uh, it means we just get more gold. I'm going to try and run away from the sepulchre so we don't get hit by any other trap because they do hit like a truck. Two more sepulchres. Thank you very much. Races. Yeah, I think we will level up before we find any, um, any boss mobs. And what's our inventory? Okay, inventory is almost full. We'll probably clear out these, this room here for gear. Make our way back to town. I keep saying I won't pick up any more yellows. Uh, however, these magical items or these rares, whatever they are, they are quite useful. They are giving me a fair bit of gold as well. So that trap did a lot of damage. It's over a third of my health in one hit. That, those are something I need to watch out for as well. Anything through here? Doesn't look like it. We'll clear the rest of this floor. Uh, and I'll jump back in before we go down to the level. And we're back. So we did level up. So I actually went out of the town of Athens where we came. Uh, just to get an extra level. To be minuscule away once we cleared this uh, part of the catacombs. So we put all of our points into dexterity. Because we want to use this sword as soon as possible. It should only be, I think it's two more levels. We'll have enough dexterity. Skill points. We'll put one point into here and then one point into rally. What's this? Each enemy has a chance to trigger an adrenaline rush that boosts life regeneration. What's the chances? 5% chance to activate it. Ooh, that's quite nice. So if I click that, then it'll... Yeah, fine, we'll click that. So it gives me two skill points into it. That's that's a really good uh, one to have uh, because it's, it's just a passive potential for it to happen. Um, random, really nice. 5% um, chance to activate it, nice. And I'll see, we're going to continue to level up our rune mastery later on as well with that in mind we now have a new skill so i want to put this at rally here uh, so we've got our continuous buff and you've got rally down here which once used as a 45 second uh, recharge so cooldown uses 53 energy uh, it affects everyone in a radius heals me for a third of my health so it's 510 gives me health regeneration 
and gives me armor as well. So what more do I? What more would I want? And then later on, we can make it even better. So gradually restores lost energy to allies, allowing them to continue to fight. And this one uh, reduces the damage taken. Really, really useful. So now down to uh, the fifth level. Looks like that Gorgon just mel melted through the floor. And you can see the uh, the wall there bugging out a little bit again. It's fine. It's an old game. Alright, uh, so hopefully, I think by the looks of it, we should fix or save Athens by the end of this episode. Looks like it's wanting me to go to the left here. If I look at my mini map, it does say that that's where our next floor is. Where is it? Yeah, stairs down. So next floor is down there on the left. Nice. We've got some charms there, or some relics. That guy's down. Sepulchre. Nothing in there either. We'll just check this room out. Okay, nothing special in here. One call his mobs down. Ooh. Little hand of whatever that said. So this is a throwing axe. Uh, that's pretty cool. We're going to keep hold of that. We're not going to use it, but we're going to keep hold of it, because that'd be something that might be good in a future class. I like the idea of like a throwing axe so that for throwing knife kind of class. So I want to make, slight tangent, but on Diablo 2, the new ladder, I want to make a throwing barb. See how that goes. They've never made a, a throwing barb before. Uh, but once again, that's obviously Diablo, not, um, not um, Titanfall. Titanfall? No, Titan Quest. So it looks like there was some, whatever came out of that room there, you can see it's burst outwards. Let's run down here. I can see a quest mark on the map. Um, so we'll make our way over there, I guess. There you go. So we've got the health regeneration on. Opt. So you can see up there. It, I don't know whether there's a... There's a uh, visual clue around my character when it pops. So we might stand still. Keep getting hit for a second. Doesn't... Just waiting for it to pop. Let's use our rally. Okay. It looks like he's. Uh, it's, it just took. <laughs> I'm not going to stand there and just keep getting hit on. Uh, if it pops again, because I wouldn't mind seeing if there's a visual clue around my body. Loads of sepulchres to grab here. They need to be careful here, because if a few of them had a trap, we could actually almost get one shot. Which is not what you want. Want. But it looks like we've got kind of lucky here. Now, how's our inventory? Okay, inventory's getting a little bit full. We're going to, before we go through this door here, we'll head back to town, sell our stuff. I'll quickly show you where the Athens waypoint is, just in case you ever need it. And uh, once you get straight into town, it's right in the middle, right here. So I can't believe I've, I didn't even see it when I came here. And sell our stuff, put some stuff into storage, and go back. Ooh. No, oh, okay. Shame, that's a lot of a lot of armor. Is this any good? No. And I think this is that looks like that's gonna be a boss. Uh some for a ghost. Make sure we've got all the buffs on us. Oh, we've got the one buff. Okay, so Alistor Scourge of the Archeon. Let's see what he's got for us. Okay, so ice damage didn't do that much against him there. Uh he's used my rally cry. Get round behind him. Yeah, I killed his minions as soon as they spawned. By the looks of it. There is this. So my shield did pop just then. And it did have this like kind of blue aura around us. So I might have just been seeing it. My eyes might be playing tricks on me. I just got to keep my health above the... Well, ideally above two thirds. Just in case he has a, some sort of skill that can do a load of damage. Wouldn't put it past it. Okay. As soon as his skeleton spawn. We're going to keep our lightning strike ready for when his skeleton spawn. There, so I think there's a little blue that appears around us when our healing um, pops. Our shield um, skill. This one up there, adrenaline. And it's easy as that. Scourge of Archeon is down. Drop some interesting stuff. It looks like there's a philosopher there. What's this staff? They're not bad staff. Shame it's not really what we want to use in this armor here. Fire damage, burn damage. A plus two to volcanic orb. Okay, we're going to gonna keep them put in the bank and we're gonna keep that staff as well just in case we ever make a character which is kind of like a non uh, solo self found so i kind of i like the idea of doing everything on this one character uh 
obviously we can share some items onto some other characters there as well. So another, that's actually quite a nice staff. It's probably better than the one he dropped. Just chest, anything good? Please be something good. Okay, got Archeon's this. Which is a shame once again because I think it's exactly the same, almost the same what just dropped. Energy, it's not too bad if I was a mage, but alas, I'm not a mage. And we'll check down here. Okay, there's one chest down here. So if we didn't hand in this quest, we don't hand in this quest, we could actually more. just farm this over and over. So we could just, as it's not updated here and we haven't spoken to the old man yet, we should be able to save and exit. Come back in and kill him again to loot the chest, but we're not going to do that. What have you got for us, old man? Mysterious warrior, by saving my life, you have done more than you know. I lead the Order of Prometheus in Athens. We are an ancient order charged with the safekeeping of the mortal realm. What you have heard is true. The force behind these monsters is a powerful being, a lesser titan known as a Tilkeen. The titans are an ancient race of gods much older than Zeus and his brethren. They once had absolute power. All creatures followed their rule. Eventually, the gods created humans and gifted us with intelligence. We defied the Titans on many occasions, and they were determined to destroy us. The gods resisted, refusing to let their greatest creation be destroyed, and a great war ensued. It seemed as though the Titans would triumph. However, a few bold warriors and heroes aided the gods. They banished the Titans to a nether realm. We believed that all the Telkines were banished with them. It seems we were wrong. The Telkeen is now bound for Nossos on the Isle of Crete. We fear that he plans to destroy a sacred artifact which we have guarded for ages. This artifact keeps us in contact with the godly realm. If it is destroyed, there's no telling what will happen. You have to stop him. Go to the docks here in Athens. You will find an agent of our order who will arrange your passage to Crete. Hurry! The fate of the world is in your hands. Okay, that's good to know. So we've got a necklace there of foresight. Uh, increases, that's pretty good if I had a pet, but I don't. Um, so our quest log's been updated. We now need to head down here. So it's under the labyrinth. So this is going to take us to Crete. See if there's anybody else through here. I think it looks like there's a soldier there, but that's fine. Head for the other side. Through the other side through here. This is the Athens dock, straight to the dock. Nice. So I don't think there's um, going to be much exploring now. We're probably just going to leave straight away, aren't we? Okay, nope. There's some more mobs. So we're going to hopefully make our way to the docks. Um, once we're... Ooh, another shield. Uh, we can make, probably make room for this. And that is... Uh, is that the same what we've already got? It's not as good. That's fine. It just rolled slightly low on the... Um, the um, uh, what's it called? Prefixes. We're not going to pick up any loot here. Mainly mean, because we have a full inventory. Okay, we're at the docks now by the looks of it. We're just going to bonk our way through. Uh, there's a crown there. Okay, there is a, a ship captain's there. And that looks like that is that. So where is the rest of Athens? Can I zoom out anymore? I can't zoom out anymore. But the rest of Athens is... Somewhere in the darkness. Okay, that's fine. So, what have you got Fater for us? Sent you? You are the one he is sending to Nossus? Incredible. I am the Promethean agent he spoke of. Phaedrus knows what the Telkin did to my family, my village, and he still won't let me seek my revenge. Instead, he sends you while dispatching me on a mission to the east. I am duty bound to follow his orders. I hope Phaedrus knows what he is doing. I suppose I wish you luck. I will see that Telkin dead. One way or another. I'll show you to your ship. Nice. So, now we need to go through the ship. I'm guessing it's through here. Travel, yeah, travel to Kronos. So we have got one side mission we've not done, which is Spartans Lost. So I couldn't actually find the swamp. We can always go back. It's not the end of the world. Um, the reward looks like it was just money anyway, or experience. So we don't... Experience is nice, but it's not gap. We don't really need it that much. We're now at the beach of Kronos, which is known as Crete in the real world. 
um, which obviously this game did call it Crete. Uh, so we're now down here in Crete itself. So we need to just find the town. It looks like it's straight up here. We're, this is the village of Herak uh, We're not going to grab any quests because uh, that will be for the next episode. So we'll end this episode here. I'll just sell all this stuff. Have they got anything good in the shop? They've got uh, that mace is pretty good. Uh, however, I don't think it's what we're going to need. I don't think it's what we want. Uh, quite a good little shield there as well. That's fine. So long. Is there a bank here? There is a bank here. And it looks like there is a waypoint here. I almost walked away from that waypoint. Let's go. So we've got the final... Looks so like you can see the labyrinth there. So you can see town, war camp, so like a city, temple, the city. You can kind of see where we're going in each of these locations. So you can, if I hover over here, obviously that's the labyrinth. Greek mythology, labyrinth, yeah, probably going to fight a minor at all. And we're going to put these items in here just in case. Is there a quick way to do this? This is. There, it's just right click. I can sort this out in a, in a future time. But there's no rush to sort it out. Go so again. we will end this episode here. Wait, or, um, so if you've made this far, thank you much for watching. The next episode will be out on Friday. Uh, so hopefully we can finish this first act and make our way through. So we are still playing through as a hardcore. Zero death so far. We've killed over 4,800 monsters, which is pretty mega. And yep, hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. And as per usual, peace out.